I set myself the task of trying to see as many species of birds as possible in a morning without leaving Bangkok or travelling to one of the parks. So I went to a nearby temple, Wat Putabucha. Black crowned night heron is the speciality bird at Wat Putabucha. These birds congregate in a particular part of the temple and are very approachable. I will explain why later in the video. Hello my dear friends, so here I am at Wat Pudabucha. It's on the western suburbs of Bangkok and like many temples in Thailand, mature trees here make the area a home for birds as well as monks. So let's take a look at some of them, birds that is, not monks. Mature temple trees often attract black naped orioles. These migrants spend the northern winter in Thailand and hunt for caterpillars among the foliage. A nice bird to see in an urban setting. The colourful coppersmith barbet is one of the quintessential birds of Thai temples. This hole nesting species is a common sight in temple grounds. This juvenile is ready to leave the nest. Coppersmith barbet gets its name from its call. This call is supposed to sound like a metalsmith working with copper. Although the Thai name translates as goldsmith barbet. Zebra dove is another bird commonly found in temples in Thailand. This little dove is native to southern Thailand but introduced to the rest of the country and is a familiar sight. Zebra doves form strong pair bonds and mutual preening strengthens this bond as it does in many species of birds. Pied fantail is full of character and another common temple bird. As are tree sparrows, these ones are helping themselves to a religious offering. Flowering temple trees always attract olive-backed sunbirds. These nectar and insect eating birds are very adaptable and can nest in some unlikely places. Oriental magpie robin is another bird found in temples all over Thailand and one with a nice song. Of course there are a lot of feral pigeons here too, but even they make for some nice shots against the backdrop of the temple. Red collared dove and spotted dove are also common birds around the temple. Birds like Oriental Magpie Robin, Feral Pigeon, Coppersmith Barbet. These are all typical birds of Thai temples all over the country. But what Putabucha has something special about it that makes it particularly good for birds. Follow me. At the back of Wat Putabucha is a leafy canal where birds like this migratory black capped kingfisher can be seen. Although shy, these kingfishers can coexist close to humans. However, in the past they were persecuted for their feathers used in decorative fans. Well, this is Klong Bang Mot, and this walkway alongside it will take us through a variety of habitats and turn up a lot more birds. It's a temple backdoor birdorama. One of the most colourful birds here is pink neck green pigeon. Like many species of birds, the male is more adorned than the female. 
In the early morning, the strange whistling call of pink neck green pigeon can be heard coming from the treetops. Quite unlike most pigeons. Power cables along the canal provide a convenient perch for resting barn swallows, but also a place from which to hunt insects for blue-tailed bee-eaters. This handsome bee-eater likes to sit on exposed perches, and overhead wires are a good substitute to more natural choices. A small number of greater racket-tailed drongos inhabit orchards here. But the waterway itself attracts an ever-increasing number of Asian openbills. This impressive stalk has become a very familiar sight, benefiting from the introduction of an invasive snail as a food source. And, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the canal at the back of Wat Puttabucha is a great place to watch black-crowned night herons. Well, you might be wondering why are there so many night herons here. After all, it is not the night and they are usually nocturnal birds. Well, I might have come here to watch black-crowned night herons, but the black-crowned night herons have been watching people too. People come to the temple and they buy frogs, fish and other aquatic animals to release into the canal here to make merit for the next life. But, to be honest, it doesn't always work out well for the fish or the frogs. And I don't know how that affects your karma. Further along the canal, the habitat changes. This part of the canal is well wooded, as you can see, and along here I found some interesting migrant birds, including one real surprise. Asian emerald cuckoo is a scarce forest bird, and an even scarcer migrant, so finding one here was a real thrill. This jewel of a bird lays its eggs in the nests of other birds, like many cuckoos. Its small size means it favours the nests of tiny sunbirds. Grey-headed canary flycatcher was another unexpected migrant. The resident plaintive cuckoo, on the other hand, is a much more common sight and sound of Thailand's temples. Well, as ever, I didn't manage to video all of the birds that I saw, but I did manage to photograph a lot of others. And here are some of them. When walking back down the canal to the temple, I found some Asian golden weavers. Those Asian golden weavers took me to 60 species for the morning. Not bad at all, but if you think that's good, take a look at what can be seen in the rice fields in this video.